guys, welcome back to my channel. I was on Reddit reading something about English and somebody asked a question, how do you pronounce the word shit? So, the word shit is, of course, a swear word in English. It's not something that you're gonna use at work or in a professional situation or an interview or anything like that. However, it is a word that people use a lot because, as you know, people swear a lot in their native language. For example, when somebody drops something on the floor or they break something or they hit their toe on the side of the bed or they accidentally crash their car, people are going to react with a swear word. It's natural and it's instinctive. So it's really, really good to be able to recognize when somebody is swearing, recognize swear words so you know when to use them in the right context. And also for me, I really feel that when you start to become proficient in your second or your third language, it's the use of swear words to me that really made me realize that actually I'm starting to become fluent. Because when, for example, I do drop something on the floor and it breaks and I'm like, oh no, I instinctively react in French now rather than in English, which to me is an amazing sign that I'm actually becoming fluent because my brain is automatically thinking in French before English. So although it might seem a bit weird, I do actually believe that swearing or like an automatic reaction to something happening with a swear word in your second or your third language is a really, really good sign. So when it comes to the word shit, okay, well, let's be honest here. Shit is basically poop, okay? So when we say the word shit, it's not that we're actually saying poop. It's not that we actually want to talk about that subject matter. It is just a way for people to exclaim that they're shocked, that they're annoyed, that they hurt themselves, etc, etc, etc. It's just a word that we use. So when it comes to pronouncing the word shit, how is it spelled? S-H-I-T. So we can assume that the word shit is pronounced exactly how it's written. S-H-I-T, shit. Before you start to worry that you've been saying it the wrong way or you've learned it the wrong way, you're right, don't worry. Your assumption is correct. This is exactly how we say the word shit. However, this is something that I can speak specifically about because I do come from England in the UK. So when it comes to the word shit, there are a few different versions of shit and that is because in the UK we have so many regional accents. It is unbelievable. So generally we have a more English accent, we have a Scottish accent, we have a Welsh accent and then we have an Irish accent. But that's not all because almost every single region of each country has its own accent too. So in England we have the Southern accent, we have the Birmingham accent, we have the Yorkshire accent, we have the Liverpool accent. There are so many different accents and this is why sometimes you'll find that you find find it really easy to understand somebody who speaks English and sometimes you'll find it ridiculously difficult and even I find it difficult with some of the more northern accents. So how else do we pronounce this word shit? So let's start with England because that's where I come from. In England we say shit. Here we go, shit. Okay, so that's how I pronounce it. However, you may also hear people say the word shite. Shite is exactly the same as shit. It's just pronounced differently. The further north that you go, you're also going to hear shet. <laughs> like Shetland Pony. That is the Scottish accent. It is very, very typical to Scottish accent. So when it comes to shit, the correct pronunciation is shit. However, you will hear shite and you will hear shit. You will never ever hear sheet. Okay, sheet is not a way to pronounce shit and it's not pronounced by anybody that way except perhaps French speakers who sometimes elongate our vowels where they don't really need to. My husband does this. Sheet, no, shit, yes. Shit and shite are variations of the word shit. So this depends on who you're speaking with or who you're listening to and which regional accent they have. Now, one small little subtlety is that at least in England, we use the word shite, okay? So I always say shit. That is what I say, it's what my family say, and it's what is natural to the region that I come from. However, when we really want to emphasize how shit something is, you know, it's not just shit, it's so, so shit. We say the word shite. And that's because to us, it feels like a more dramatic way to say the word. Why? Because 
<laughs> to us, this accent is so dramatic. <laughs> this is not an insult. So, so strong. It could be quite funny. And it's so, um, it's quite entertaining to listen to because they pronounce words in weird ways, weird ways, you know, different ways. They really have such a unique personality. It's amazing. But for us, it can sound really, really dramatic and, and entertaining. So when we say something is shit, obviously you can understand what that means. But when we say it's shite, we're really adding emphasis to it. We're really adding some entertainment. We're adding some drama to it. This is in no way an insult to this accent because English people love to listen to it, even if we don't always understand it, but it is just so entertaining and so unique. Very, very loved in the UK. So there you go. That is why you're gonna hear different ways of pronouncing the word shit. And this is important because you want to sound like a human being in your second language or in English. You want to sound natural and you want to actually fit in with the culture and sound like a natural speaker and be able to communicate with people and to be on the same level so they really converse with you and accept you and so that in that way you can learn about the culture, you can learn more about the language, improve your language skills. So to really blend in with other English speakers, it's really good to be able to swear in English, it's really good to be able to react in English and it's really good to be able to understand when other people are perhaps annoyed or when they are perhaps confused. And sometimes swear words can really give you a lot of information about how the person is feeling in the moment. So for example, if I hit my toe on the side of the bed and I say nothing, you probably won't really notice or you won't think that I've hurt myself, won't really mean anything to you. But if I hit my toe on the bed and then I say shit, you're gonna turn and you're gonna go, oh, she's really hurt herself, you know, you know. So this is why we use swear words and they really do bring the language to life. So pronounce this word as shit because that is exactly how it's pronounced. But be aware that there are other people in the UK in particular who say shite or who say shit. Okay, I really hope this helps you. This may not be traditional English language learning but it's important and I want to be able to help you to be yourself and to be a real human being, to be able to express yourself as an English speaker does and to feel like a normal human being, not just somebody who's trying to communicate but doesn't really fit in. And I learned shit in French, it's merde, and I <laughs> and I overpronounce it to give it some emphasis. So normally it's merde, like me normally it's merde. But I, every time I say it, I really overpronounce it. I say merde, <laughs> merde. Like I roll my tongue in my mouth like merde. <laughs> so every time people say, oh, why do you say it like that? Well, to me, because it's, it's funny, I emphasize it. Anyway, thanks for listening, guys. Click subscribe. And if you have any ideas for videos or you have any questions about English, leave a comment comment below. I will help you by filming a video for you to answer your questions. Thank you so much for watching and I'm going to see you in the next video. Bye!